when I was still in high school, I was sweeping the floors of, of Stone Brothers Racing and, and obviously started at about as low as you can go in a motorsport team. You know, worked through many different roles on my way to where we are now today with Matt Stone Racing. You couldn't really quantify the, the volume of knowledge that I've gotten from my old man Jimmy. Certainly from my point of view, he, he never held back and, and taught me a lot of hard lessons and taught me all, everything the right way. And, you know, I couldn't really thank him enough for everything that he's um, contributed to, to help us build what we've got. In about 2010, I was working as a number one mechanic at Stone Brothers on Van Gisbergen's car. You know, I was sitting talking to my old man one day about, you know, what was next, and we weren't really sure the direct next step. And then an opportunity arose to maybe lease a car, step out and, and run a car on my own. And I loved the idea and thought we'd give it a go. And we started running Robert Cregan in a leased SBR car, actually a Russell Ingalls championship winning car that we leased to run in, run in Super 2. So I've always had a long, lot of passion and support for Super 2 because it's, it's where I got my start as a, as a team owner and it's, and it's where a lot of the drivers um, that we run um, and a lot of drivers in main game got their start. So Super 2 is definitely uh, where it all began. When I think about the step up to supercars, it was an interesting um, narrative. When I stepped out of supercars and started in Super 2, I was loving being off the big stage and being able to do things on a smaller scale. And, and after doing that for several years, my uh, narrative changed and I was really keen to get back into the, the top level. And originally didn't think we'd ever look for it. And, and then eventually the stars aligned with um, Todd Hazelwood and Jason Gomesall in the background and we were able to put a campaign together to get us to step up and from then on we've just never looked back and, and tried, to, tried to do more and more. The NTI Truck Assistant relationship um, has been, been ongoing strong for a few years now. We put a, a good deal together with them in 2020 with their Yellow Cover brand, bringing them and businesses in that space together. We've just had such a great relationship with the NTI team. The biggest thing about our relationship with NTI is that for us it truly is a partnership. They so genuinely care and are invested in how we're growing as a team and how we're going results wise and, and you know they're along with the journey to help us build up to where we want to be. It's a passion for us to try and make sure that everything we can do in the supercar space to help our NTI and Truck Assist achieve their goals. And we try and work with them to make sure that it's a mutually beneficial for all of us. And it's really been a great relationship, um, going strong after four years and, and hopefully into the future. The 2020 and 2021 years were building blocks for that, that relationship that our businesses have. Obviously with the, the pandemic, um, affecting everyone and in sports particularly you know it was a, a, a time where we all really had to dig deep and work together and, and you know we all come out of it stronger than before which is a you know a testament to, to everyone's work ethic within the MSR team you know it's been great that we can survive that and also grow our team to a point where we're starting to get some of the results we want every year we do one better than the year before and you know that trajectory only leads to one spot and that's that's the number one spot where we're we're trying to get to Jack has been a fantastic um, addition to the team. You know, he's just really, really gelled with the culture at MSR. So much to the point that he's not just become a part of it, but he's contributing to it. He's been able to bring out better results from the team and better results from him. And you know, we're at a point now where we're starting to see that together we can, we can really move forward into something special. Uh, back to when I first raced, I mean, that'd be, yeah, back when I was seven years old, first time in go-karts, uh, when I was a wee little quit, um, snapper, had a, had a duck go-kart, me and Dad just rocked up to the racetrack of the go-kart trailer and went racing, so it was, uh, it was pretty cool, it was pretty special, because I grew up around Dad's racing, uh, my uncle raced cars, my pa raced cars, and dude buggy. So I started in Formula V when I was 16, did a year and a half of that before I got into Formula Ford at um, yeah, 7 and a half, 18. Left school, did my apprenticeship with Rowan and that's sort of how the Formula Ford thing came uh, came about for us. So after we won the championship in Formula Ford in 2012, it was sort of uh, quite a year for us in 2013. Didn't really know where we were going to go and that's when um, the Airbus Academy, um, Betty and, and Barry Ryan were given the opportunity to keep racing throughout 2013. We didn't really have the funds to, to keep it going at that stage, so we did a couple of GD3 races and a couple of Formula 3 races, uh, driving a vet touring car and they could be out YouTube 
as well. 2014, we made a step up through um, the Erebus Academy into Terry Wahoon's Dunlop Series team. We did like, six rounds or five or six rounds of that that year. And 2015, we moved off and, and raced with Matty White. We had a really great run this, that year. I think we finished third in the championship from memory. And then we moved into the Power A at the time, raced the year there and had a, had a really good year as well. And also doing the co-driving. From there, we matched Matty White's driving the Nissans and um, had a lot of fun with those things. It was very new for Matt and the teams. We learned a lot out of it, had some great speed and some great success. Yeah, got the opportunity to come into the main game in 2018 and uh, yeah, we're uh, six year in now and we're still going. Yeah, the team here at MSR is great. I think it's one of those awesome little family knit um, teams. Everyone gets along really well. It's the most fun I've had racing in a long, long time. So I um, absolutely love it. Found my, um, I suppose, passion for it again. You've got to enjoy it first um, before you can get the most out of yourself and um, get the most out of the car on track. Matt and the, the rest of the guys here at Cruxes Racing are doing a great job. And uh, fingers crossed we can keep moving forward throughout 2023 and um, into the future. We've always been about fostering young talent and bringing drivers in and giving them their chance. It comes down to our roots in Super 2. We always want to make sure that we keep that strong history of developing talented drivers and Cam Hill was no exception to that. We've been following his career for years. To, to win what he's won, especially Carrera Cup in his debut year, you know, it's just fantastic to see that he was on the trajectory of supercars and, and you know, we were, we were thrilled to be able to give him that opportunity and now try and, um, try and get the performance out of him to make sure that he can stay on the grid. So when I was young, downstairs underneath my bedroom was a workshop where my dad had built a sports sedan race car. So I grew up always surrounded by motorsport. After I did a few years racing in go-karts, dad and I, we got our, ourselves a Formula Ford and we decided to take on the, the national championship as a father and son privateer team. From that, we did a lot of learning in our first year and, and in the second year, we actually won the national title. As I moved on to other categories, our team was born because we sort of leased my Formula Ford to a young driver, Lock on the Neath, and he raced with us and we ran him and then Tom Sargent started with us, so then we had a two-car team. While I was still focusing on progressing up the ladder, we, we were sort of growing this small race team. It's sort of grown and grown and sort of followed just a couple of steps behind my own career. You know, we've now won Carrera Cup, the Australian Formula 4 Championship, the Bathurst Six Hour. You know, this weekend, obviously, me racing in supercars and Formula 4 as a support category. Uh, it was uh, pretty amazing to, I guess, have mum and dad also over there helping run the team while I did my thing over here. Do all the steps on your way up. You know, I learned so many lessons along the way and built up my skill set. Now that I'm here in supercars, obviously, yes, I'm a rookie and, you know, I've got a mountain to climb, but I do feel like I'm as best prepared as I, as I can be to, uh, to take on the challenge. Since MSR's inception, we've always been growing, trying to do more and more each year. Whereas now, as we look to really consolidating our efforts on supercars. You know, we've decided that more is not always better. We've dialed out of Super 2, limited exposure in Super 3. So our focus is on growing our two-car supercar team within the supercar space, effectively trying to become a, a top-tier team. Less distractions in the background, less other projects that are taking focus and away from what is our main goal, which is to the front of the Supercars Championship and, and starting to win some races and, and carrying that momentum forward.